tell us what's on tap again year six of the swish league so many great players have played in the swish league going on to professional careers high level of college basketball played in the nba even what's on tap for year six and thanks for hopping on yeah absolutely man i appreciate you guys for for uh giving us love and having us on again man it's, we're, we're super excited this year and um you know every year we learn we grow and so we got a lot of great things on tap um you know of course First and foremost, you know, we, we always want to make this a, a family thing, a family event. We want people to come and bring their families out and enjoy uh, a really cool environment. So, you know, we uh, uh, we have lots of you know guest appearances throughout the summer. Of course, you know, we have a lot of San Diego State guys will be there uh, and playing. We definitely have a lot of commitments um, for those guys. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's also a, a whole San Diego thing as well, too. So UCSD will be well represented, USD, you know, all the colleges in the area. Uh, but we also have... Uh, a handful of, uh, more than a handful, excuse me, a lot of guys who are overseas pros, uh, NBA guys that all live in the area uh, who have all committed to play throughout the summertime. And it's a really cool thing. You know, if anybody hasn't been down there, um, you know, we play at Lincoln High School uh, down in the Southeast County. Um, it's, it's awesome down there. Um, you know, as far as their hospitality, um, the people come out, the fans are there. It's just a great event, a great show. And, um, you know, it's, it's a chance for you to get to see some guys that, you know, normally you pay hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars to get a chance to see from far away. Uh, you get a chance to be in an intimate setting with them and ask questions and ask for autographs and take pictures. And you know, these guys are really engaging as well. And they love to see their fans and engage with them, you know, in type of such an intimate and tight setting. And so it's, uh, it's a unique, very unique event that we have every year. It's only last six weeks, uh, but it's something where uh, all the guys who are in the area, get a chance to be together in one gym, whether it be all the coaches and um, college players, high school players, um, uh, pro players, and all get to kind of congregate and meet and, you know, uh, network and just, you know, being basketball and just try to elevate basketball uh, in the city for San Diego. And we've seen some of the the names that are going to be, um, you know, competing in this for you. How how is it to get commitments from these guys? Is it easy? Is it a tough process? Or you know, like what's the process that you go through to get the commitments from these players to play in this uh, Swiss league? Sure, I mean a lot of these guys, you know, they've played with us before. So you know, first and foremost, you know, especially when you're talking NBA players and then uh, the Division One guys, you know, San Diego State, UCSD, USC, especially. Um, you know, when you're talking those guys, they want to make sure they're in an environment that they're protected. Um, you know, these guys are there to kind of hone their skills against one another. So, you know, we try to, to you know, make it an environment where they're safe. So we have NBA level uh, certified uh, C League and WNBA referees that are there. Um, so, you know, the game is called a certain way. We call the game uh, at an NBA, with NBA rules, regulations, things like that. Um, and then these guys, they're, they're with other guys who are high level pros, high level college guys. Um, so they understand how to play and make the game high level continue to work on their craft and get ready for the upcoming season, um, but also be able to give entertainment to the fans, um, you know, and make it worth your while to come out and get a chance to see these guys play and, and uh, be on the court. So uh, that makes it really easy to get commitments to these guys so we know that we run the very well um, and that we're looking out for them. Uh, and then also, you know, when you get one to play and one has a buddy and this guy has a buddy that wants to play and then they, they kind of talk a little bit and they want to play against each other and, you know, there's the bragging rights of San Diego is real. So uh, people are going to be able to talk throughout the fall and let everybody know who won in the summer and, you know, kind of gas it up and get people ready to go for the next summer. So it's, it's kind of a thing that snowballed and uh, it's turned into a really, really fun event. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to having those guys show up. But, um, yeah, getting those guys to come out is definitely harder than it was look sometimes. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. But uh, we have such a great uh, staff, um, you know, from – uh, the, the co-commissioner down to our director of operations um, and all the way down to, you know, even support staff. Uh, we have such a great staff to help us out to be able to do those types of things and be able to get these guys there. And then once they're there, uh, make them feel comfortable and make them feel, you know, in an environment where uh, not only it's safe, but it's a fun thing they can come out and do and they enjoy it when they're there. We'll catch it up on the Swiss League. It'll get underway this uh, Sunday in San Diego. Lincoln High School it is a free event. Summer League basketball returning to San Diego for a sixth consecutive year. Specifically, again, uh, Coach Koo, for our listeners, we have so many San Diego State listeners with the flagship for San Diego State. <laughs> from an Aztec perspective, you know, I, I think about the last couple of years from the Swish League to like a national championship game. I'm watching like Keisha Johnson, Matt Bradley, Michael Parrish. Yeah. I think it's expected to appear again 
this summer as well from an Aztec lens. What can San Diego State fans expect over the next handful of weeks in terms of participants well, and former players and current it, players? It's going to be fun. Um, they are going to have a, a wide variety of alumni players and current players. And then, and then again, they're going to get a chance to take a look at some new guys that are coming, uh, you know, that have come to join the team this year. So it's, uh, it's going to be a really cool thing. I know we have one team, um, the Valley Farm. Uh, they have, uh, you know, alumni, Lorenzo Wade, Billy White, um, some other guys like that, Matt Bradley, Nathan Mensa, who are going to be paired with uh, Miles Bird and Jared Coleman Jones. Mm-hmm. So it'll be teams like that where we have guys who are older guys who are going to be playing with younger guys. So we'll have uh, kind of a wide variety for all Aztec fans to be able to see, um, you know, guys who they watched over the years and they loved and they'll still follow in the pro ranks um, and then get to see guys who are currently there. Um, who have played and have given so much to the program, like um, Miles and, um, you know, guys like that. And then newer guys, um, you know, with some of the guys coming in, Tosh Goreville or uh, Farrell Compton, um, Kimo Ferrara, all those different guys who are coming in, get a chance to kind of see what they look like. And, um, you know, when we did this, when we first started this, you know, back in, um, you know, 20, 2019, 2020, those guys, you know, we had guys like Yanni and um, uh, uh, uh Micah and, and Darion Tremell has played throughout the year. So, you know, it's, it's always a good chance for the transfers that come in for them to kind of get a look and get a feel for the fans in San Diego and them to get a, the fans to get a good chance to see them and, um, you know, how good they are. Because I know I remember Darion and some of those guys started to play and, you know, it was kind of a first glimpse of, you know, who they were um, as far as even Jaden Ladee, those guys. And then, you know, being able to see some of the, that's that great to be out there and play and getting up and down and being able to cheer those guys on as well too. For fans that want to attend and watch, how can they do that and, and where they need to go to uh, figure out uh, those details? Yeah, you can go to uh, the switchproam.com. Uh, that has, uh, we have our website is updated. It has all our information on there. Uh, it has team roster. So you can kind of see who's on each roster there. Um, and then also you can go to the social media, uh, the switch pro am. Uh, and we have everything on, on Instagram as well, too, and uh, Twitter and all that stuff. Um, just hit the, hit the link to the bio, and that should send you uh, to, to information and things like that. We have a question off our text line for Coach Koo from an Aztec fan. Is Magoon Gwath expected to play? Magoon is not expected to play uh, this season. All right. Simple as that. Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> yeah. there's been a lot of fascination from Aztec fans. There's been a lot of curiosity, yeah. a lot of fascination. Redshirted a year yeah. ago. Potentially a big part of San Diego State moving forward as well. We're looking forward to it. Uh, we really are. I'll be there absolutely a number of times, I'm sure, over the course of the next six weeks for our listeners. Hope awesome. to see you out there at Lincoln High School, Kwaku Amwaku. The director. Yes, I said that right. I, I still have the uh, <laughs> the sound file from you last year when you said it to me, the pronunciation, because I wanted to get it right. <laughs> Don't ask me, though. You like, knocked that one out the park. That was, that was fantastic. When, when's it start Sunday? Uh, first game, 12-15 on Sunday. And uh, we have our game of the week. Our feature game this week will be uh, Valley Farm versus the Lee Ballers. If you guys go on the website, um, you'll be able to see the roster out there and see who's playing. And um, it'll be a high-level game. It'll be a lot of a lot of people in the building. So, I mean, I suggest people out there and, and check it out. Um, you know, if you cannot get out there, there should be uh, information to live stream uh, that you can, you can find as well, too, on the website uh, or on the social media as well, too. Great stuff, Coach Perfect. Koo. We appreciate it. We'll see you out there this summer. Thanks for doing it. Hey, I always appreciate you guys. Thank you for the love. And, uh, you know, God bless everybody. And please, please, we love everybody to come out. Enjoy it. Bring the family out. It'll be a great event. All right. Great stuff. Love we'll it. be there this summer. I'll probably be there this Sunday. Yes, you I mean, probably will. Matt Bradley, Nathan Mensa. Do you have the list in front of you? I, I sent it to you yesterday. I mean, it's an amazing list of current, former Aztecs and San Diego basketball players in general. It's an unbelievable list. A couple newcomers, too, that uh, if you want to see freshmen. Yep. He mentioned Taj DeGoreville, Farrow Compton. I sent you a tweet last Jared night. Jared Coleman right? Jones. What was the tweet I sent you last night? Yeah, that's the list right here. Yeah, what's the, read off some of the list. Miles Bird, Jared Coleman Jones, Billy White, Matt Bradley, Nathan Mensa, Lorenzo Wade, Boogie Ellis. Um, yeah, how about that? Isn't but wasn't Boogie Ellis just in the combine? Isn't he about to get drafted? He says he's a pro. Yeah, yeah. Jake, that's one team, by the way. Yeah, Jake Elstrom. Uh, I don't know how to say this name. I'm not even gonna try. Here okay, we'll let me see. We'll let this you'll know which name it is. From Mansfield University. Yeah, 
Richard Oppong? No, no, not him. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> get out there, Swish League Action, get right it underway. This uh, what are you showing me? I don't know that name. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know everything. I anyway, it's only one roster. Uh, Go find it online, find the Swish League, find the rosters. A lot of Aztecs, current and former yeah. participating this summer. All right.